Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of December 5th. We're just going to jump right in here, Aries, and we are going to see uh, what is going on for you in your current general energies. You have this Solar Calm card, and it says clarity on it, or it says clarify on it, but uh, I do feel that there could just be clarity coming in for you. And uh, you have the star, the eight of pentacles, and the king of swords in this row. I've, and it looks to me, look at this, you have this thriving card as well. See, I, I always get this, or for the past couple weeks, I should say, I've been getting like some worries maybe about your finances, <laughs> nine of pentacles right here. And so I feel like maybe some of you have been like worried about your finances, but, um, and I keep grabbing the wrong card. I wanna grab one of these, but um, I actually think you your finances are a lot are going to be a lot better than you think or there's like a lot more opportunity for you to grow your finances is what i feel for some of you with this clarify card the solar calm card i am feeling like some of you could literally be gaining a lot of clarity on kind of the actions you need to take you actually have the king of wands twice in your reading right here uh, this deck has a male and a female version of every single king this is the tarot of the mystical moments and so you have two versions of the King of Wands here. Going to the Seven of Pentacles, I kind of feel like this is saying that there could be an opportunity for you to make a change in your career, business, you know, whatever it is you do to make money, even if you're retired, uh, you know, there could still be opportunities for you to take action towards something that could create a financial turnaround. And I really feel this is like something that you've been hoping and wishing for <laughs> with the star card. It's definitely something that you maybe have been kind of needing. It's kind of funny because I feel more, you know, I feel like your financial concerns might be more just mental, like, you know, I'm not calling you mental here, Aries. I'm just saying, like, I think maybe some of your concerns are just things that you're thinking about, things going on in the world. Like, that's where these concerns are coming from. But again, I actually feel like you could be healing a financial situation. You even have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is my card of material success on the horizon. So to me, it literally represents more money coming in, in the future. So I do feel that some of you are kind of like doing things to make more money. You also have the King of Swords. I think you're a lot smarter than you think. <laughs> and I think you need to use your knowledge. I think that a lot of your readings uh, kind of talk about like how far you've come. Every single reading, it's crazy. You're the only sign that gets this message about like how far you've come or you know, like what you've been through over the past like eight, 10 years and where you are now. And uh, you know, I think what you need to realize is that there's a lot of value in the lessons you've learned, the things that you've been through. And so some of you, for you to be thriving like that next card, I think you just need to kind of like look at how far you've come. With the star card, you have the, uh, sorry, queen of pentacles here. I do feel like some of you could be uh, kind of like hoping and wishing and praying for love. Uh, so I do feel there could be a little bit of love here, although I wouldn't really call this a love reading. Um, you know, but what I would say is I do feel that you're hoping for like stability in a love situation. There could be like an Aquarius, a fire, another fire sign or an air, just an air sign in general uh, coming in for you if you want love. For some reason, I'm getting love on that Queen of Pentacles. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Swords, needing to see it. <laughs> I feel like you need to see kind of like the results that you can produce, especially for those of you in business, you know? Eight of Swords is like self-imposed restriction, needing to set yourself free. So I really feel a lot of you need to like, I think you need to set yourself free. I feel maybe some of you need to take bigger risks or try to do like harder, you know, stuff that is harder, if that makes sense, like in work or business, do something that maybe requires more skill or is a little bit more challenging to do. Not like in a bad way, but in a good way. With the King of Swords, you have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is a card of going round and round in a situation. I do feel some of you could be ending a round and round situation. If we go up this way, you know, you go to the Nine of Pentacles, which would be being single. You have the Three of Swords right here. Um, you know, I would say if there's a breakup happening or separation, I feel that you are the one that is choosing it. I don't think this is a bad thing either. Uh, you know, I think that we can and you know choose to separate away from a person we know is not right for us and we can still be sad about it and that's what this looks like first that's only going to be for some of you here could have been a third party situation three of cups and then you have the seven of pentacles as well it's like there's something here having to do with investment um you know this could literally be money but i feel like it has to do with either the amount of time you put in with a person or uh you know just like what you have invested with a person like what you're getting back is not enough so i feel for some of you you could be choosing to walk away from a person here 
Uh, you have the next in the area of what you don't see coming. You have this thriving card. Again, like I said at the beginning of the reading, I think what's kind of a little surprising to you or what will be surprising to you is like how well you can how well you can be doing in the near future. I also have like a weird message popping into my head. I'm pretty sure I said this to you in your December reading, um, the monthly reading, that, you know, I get this feeling for you that you really need to, you know, I feel there could be like little challenges, little things that pop up. And it's almost as if these are, you know, overcoming these little challenges is what is going to make you very successful. These aren't like big things. These aren't, you know, these aren't, um, you know, these aren't like major challenges that I'm feeling here. I feel like they're just tiny little things that could be annoying at the time. So, you know, don't get discouraged if those things happen. I feel like it's actually a sign that you're improving, not that you're going the other direction. You have the King of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Justice card. So definitely some balance uh, returning to your life is what I'm getting here between the Justice card and the Six of Pentacles. Uh, the Six of Pentacles, normally the guy has the uh, Justice balance. He's normally holding it in his hand, and it kind of represents equal give and take, but I feel like you're choosing yourself, which I'm pretty sure I said in one of your recent readings that all your readings really look to me like you're putting yourself first, not in a like selfish way, but in a good way, you know, you're kind of making your own decisions and all this other stuff. And I feel this is what's causing balance in your life. Some of you could also be going through a separation, but you know, it just looks like maybe you're kind of uh, look, if you are dealing with like a divorce or a separation, it looks like you're kind of trying to come to some sort of agreement uh, with the six of pentacles. So that pretty good at energy. I would also say that, you know, I'm telling you right now, Aries, like mark my words, I promise you, <laughs> the things that you do over the next like year, are going to, you know, multiply many, many times in the future. So, you know, with Jupiter in your first house, I think it's a great time to learn, educate yourself, and plant any seeds for your future. Any of the seeds that you plant, again, they might, you know, for you, uh, really actually looking at the astrology, I think things are going to happen very quickly um, for you next year. But again, usually, uh, Jupiter, we kind of get the benefits when it goes into our second house from our first house, especially when it's in our first house. But again, I would be planting seeds for your future, you know, doing anything that you feel could make you more valuable, that could make you more successful. This could be like learning skills, um, educating yourself, sharpening your skills, right? Sharpening your axe, basically. All those things are going to be very successful. But again, I feel like you're charging forward here. I mean, look at this King of Wands. This is you your energy showing up here. And he's kind of just like marching forward. And I feel that is the energy that you will be in. And so I feel like there's a lot of success coming in here um, with this energy. So, you know, uh, that's that's all that's all I could say. <laughs> I feel there's a lot of success here. Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Tower. Again, I do feel some of you could be experiencing like a separation, uh, something like that. So there is something in the background. Also, remember what I said about experiencing like small little hiccups. You know, it, it, it kind of reminds me of just things changing. I, like, I don't have a good example for you, Aries, other than YouTube, because, like, this is all I do now. <laughs> and uh, it's like, re you know, recently, YouTube has made a bunch of changes. Like, some of these changes are frustrating for some creators, right? But, um, it, and it could cause tower moments, but it's kind of like we just have to learn how to work with it. And, you know, it's kind of funny because that's the energy I get here from the tower. It's not so much a tower moment. It's just sometimes the tower comes up because we've been ignoring reality for too long. We've made things the same for too long. And the tower is falling so that we can be brought back down to reality. But really, it's a card of like the things being the same for too long. So I feel that that could be, you know, there could be some moments where like things in life are changing. And, you know, that it is what it is. With the Six of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is about needing to focus on what's important. Um, not even really worried about this because going up in this diagonal, it looks like you are focusing exactly on what's important. So going here, it looks to me like you're uh, very focused on exactly what you want. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, with the Justice card, you have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, really, <laughs> this makes perfect sense. I'm laughing because it's like, it's, you know, it's, it's exhausting at this point. Well, not really, but, um, you know, it's like one of those things where I feel like this is the answer to like the next decade of our life is Justice and Two of Pentacles, like put energy in things that return energy to you. I think that you know, the reason this comes up so much is because there is like a little bit of what I call deceptive energy in the astrology, especially with Neptune and Pisces, where, you know, we could be working on a project, maybe things are going really well, and we could be saying, you know, it can't be that easy, let me make this more complicated, right? 
So what I would say is if you're working on things and it and things are working in a relationship, in a business, in a job, a career, school, whatever, just keep going in that direction. I keep telling people and encouraging people to follow the evidence because, you know, I think if we don't follow the evidence, we're going to come up with some like crazy ideas like, oh, this business isn't working because I didn't make a billion dollars overnight. And it's like, well, but are you making, you know, like $10,000 a day? <laughs> Is there a lot more success than you normally would have? That's what I'm talking about with evidence. Same thing in a relationship as well. It's like, you know, I think nowadays it's easy to be like, oh, you know, some someone uh, just slid into my DMs. Maybe they're better than my current partner. And it's like, well, are they really? Or, you know, com- you know, are they basically really good? you know, your, is your current partner just as good, right? And it's like one of those things where we have to kind of like avoid the Neptune and Pisces, um, get, creating a fantasy that doesn't really exist um, type of thing here. So I would be trusting the evidence with those. Like if you put energy into something, what do you get back? If it's not good, leave, right? Clearly, if it is good, then stay. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this breathe card. Yeah, definitely like a moment of breath. I kind of feel this is just, again, like this financial you know, kind of release here. I wouldn't even call it increase, although I do feel, (laughs) you know, that could be part of it. But it's like this release of worries that I feel. And I kind of mentioned this at the beginning of the reading. I want to see what the next card is as well. And you have this community card as well. See, you know, on this card, though, I feel like you could be moving. You know, it's like some of you, that could be how you're increasing your finances. Like maybe you're moving somewhere cheaper, that's better. And I keep telling people that since like 2017, with Saturn and Capricorn, Saturn and Capricorn rewards efficiency, but it rewards things like, even though Saturn isn't still in Capricorn, doesn't matter because we're dealing with that energy till it comes back in like 26 years or 25 years, whatever it is. And um, what I would say is with Saturn and Capricorn, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, if you're living somewhere that's super expensive and it doesn't make sense to live there, then looking for something that's cheaper and better, you will find it <laughs> with that energy. Because again, Capricorn rewards like that type of efficiency. And, you know, again, the reward could be that you find a place that's like maybe bigger, better and cheaper. But also, you know, it Saturn Capricorn reminds me of like additional benefits, which we kind of see right here. You have the nine of pentacles, the king of wands and the three of cups. I feel on this nine of pentacles that your focus could be rewarding you with additional benefits, which is basically maybe you find the place that's cheaper and bigger, but maybe you also get a job that like pays you more. So kind of like giving me these win, win, win type of vibes. And I keep telling everyone, I feel like this is available for everyone. The problem is we have to look for it. So if you're motivated and you look for these opportunities, there are a lot of win, win, win type of opportunities that exist. But, um, you know, again, I feel maybe the challenge is that we have to look for it. (laughs) So that's what I'd say here. The nine of pentacles, I also feel has to do with your focus. Normally she has that falcon on her hand and it kind of represents her focus or the things that she's focusing on. And uh, we kind of see this here as well with the Two of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Justice. I would make sure that you're focusing on exactly what you do want, not on the things you don't want. Uh, There's some sort of change in your energy. I think it's no mistake that you have the King of Wands twice here. Again, this deck has a male and female version of every single king and queen, uh, every single king. And I just leave them in the deck because that's how the deck was created. But, um, you know, it's kind of interesting that they're both showing up here in the same position and they're going down to the, it's going down to the Seven of Pentacles. So there's some sort of energetic change going on in your life. You have the Three of Cups. This is some sort of celebration. Again, you have that community card. So if you're like working together with people, um, you know, working in a community, team, teaming up on projects or businesses, you know, I, to me, really, we're in this time of co-creation. So if you're doing anything uh, co-creative, I feel there could be a lot of success there. I, I also do feel love in this row. Um, but let's see what comes up with the nine of pentacles you have the sun so amazing definitely a lot of happiness and success coming in for you traditionally on the nine of pentacles she has grapes behind her grapes represent something that is like challenging or difficult to grow and you know it kind of represents like a skill that you have which we kind of talked about at the beginning of the reading i feel there's some sort of skill that could be being highlighted here that could make you very successful with the king of wands you have the high priestess i would definitely trust your intuition at this time and uh, you've had a Pisces like all up in your business recently. <laughs> so wouldn't surprise me if there was a Pisces coming in for some of you. With the three of cups, you have the emperor definitely taking the lead. I feel like you're coming up in a very strong position here, Aries, like really taking the lead on things, really making things happen. Uh, even at the end here, you have this coffin card. We're gonna talk about this in a second. You have this options card as well. It says many options are becoming available to you. Take advantage of every opportunity let curiosity awaken your mind. There you go. This card here, uh, the coffin, 
it kind of represents your old life. Again, I always say coffin cards inside the coffin represents your old life. Outside the coffin represents your new life. And uh, you are being reborn here, Aries. You have the three of swords, a strength card, and the seven of pentacles. I really feel like you've been kind of like reshaping. Sorry, I didn't switch. I thought I switched. But um, anyway, you are like, I feel like you're being remolded. You're being turned into something stronger. Yes, but you know, I feel like you're being turned into something different, like a whole other a whole new animal, you know? I feel like you're, you've are you been turned into something that can be much more successful. You're like much in a much more empowered position as well. I feel like some of you are still dealing with like a little bit of a heartbreak, but you know, if you are dealing with a heartbreak, I feel like you'll be healing it. For others, I feel like uh, kind of like forgiving past situations, it kind of needs to happen here with the Three of Swords. You know, Three of Swords isn't about forgiving another person. It's about removing those swords from your own heart. It's about really, you can forgive a person without forgiving them, right? You, but it's about, you know, kind of forgiving the situation. You know, I kind of have like a weird story as well. Like for some of you, like I feel this has to do with business, like in the past, maybe like someone screwed you over in business or, you know, something didn't work out in business. And some of you could still be holding on to that. For whatever reason, I feel like that needs to be like cleared out, you know? And if you could clear that energy out, uh, I feel that you'll be able to like move forward and be much more successful. With the uh, Three of Swords here, you have the King of Pentacles. Uh, you have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So definitely could be new love, something more stable coming in for you. If you had a tower moment in a relationship, I would say over the past like year, because it doesn't really feel like now. Um, you know, the thing is, you could be thinking about it. And that's what why I believe that it's showing up in this reading is because maybe it's on your mind kind of makes sense. We have Mercury going retrograde at the end of the month. And, you know, <laughs> we're almost in the shadow. So it makes perfect sense to me that you could, you know, that there could be thoughts. And I'm not saying you're, you want this person back or anything, but you could be thinking about it. And, um, but you know what you're going to realize in the future is that uh, whatever you're moving towards is actually permanent. I feel like you're going to realize how lazy someone is. Like those are the words that are, are popping into my head. So if you're like moving towards a new person, especially if it's like an earth sign, it could be a Pisces. Although I don't know, <laughs> I'm a Pisces and you know, come on. <laughs> so it could be an earth sign. It could be another fire sign. Uh, but whatever it is, I feel like they make the like your past people look bad just in general. Or it's like one person in particular. Yeah, and with the strength card, you have the Six of Cups. Again, I feel some of you are thinking about the past. Six of Cups to me does not say go back to the past. It says it's a card of innocence and nostalgia. It's a card of really needing to let go of the past. There are many tarot books that say do not go back to the past with the Six of Cups. But, you know, I feel with the strength card, you could be realizing like how much you've grown, how strong you are. I also feel some of you could be kind of realizing a childhood dream or you could be um, having some fulfillment. I also do feel that if you have like a business or a career that there needs, there, it's almost popping to mind as more fun, but I feel like there could be like a childlike element that needs to be added into something that you do. Like it needs to be more playful, you know, or needs to be, you know, have more kind of creativity or something like that, you know, especially if you have a business. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, love it. You have the Six of Swords. I love two sixes. You have the Six of Cups and the Six of Swords right on top of each other here. Uh, to me, two sixes says you're going in the right direction. You're finding success. And uh, to me, it says you're on the right path as well. So I definitely like this. I really see this reading as you changing as a person. It's like, again, I feel like you're becoming something, you know, you're becoming something different. <laughs> I feel like you're becoming unrecognizable in the best way possible. You could be like bossing up here with the Emperor card, which all your readings have been about lately. And again, it makes perfect sense with Jupiter entering to your sign, of course, but um, you know, I kind of feel like you're like bossing up. You're becoming, you, you know, you're like a force to reckon with here, Aries. I wanted to put that on camera because I feel like that's powerful. But uh, we're going to answer one question and I'm going to do it with these three cards. So take time to think of a question. If you need to, feel free to pause this video. If you don't have a question, that's fine too. I'm just going to answer all three as like a personalist reading. Uh, so I'm going to read the cards now. So pause now. You have the Eight of Wands, King of Cups, and the Hangman. Definitely could be a Pisces coming in for you here. So if you want love, could be a Pisces. And, you know, I would say go for it. Could involve travel as well with the Eight of Wands showing up here. But also, believe it or not, the King of Cups can also represent travel. 
Uh, for others, I feel like you need to get moving on something. I feel like whatever you're asking about, you're like asking, do I do this? And I would say yes, because I feel like you have all the wisdom and knowledge you need. Eight of Wands is quick success. So to me, it's saying like whatever you're asking about is going to move very quickly and it's going to be very successful. But I kind of feel like you need to like also get moving. <laughs> so I would get moving here, Aries. But uh, that's that. Looks good. So thank you for being here, Aries. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon and rising for full picture of what's going on for you this week, but thank you and definitely enjoy your week.